Hello and welcome to my easy to understand guide to Riptide, a set text for the music video topic for component one on the A-level media studies exam. Riptide will only ever appear as a set text in component one, section A, as a representation question. Music videos in general could come up in a media language question, but Riptide will only ever specifically be referenced in a representation question. In a representation question, you need to be ready to compare and contrast the representations within Riptide and another media product. Having looked at Riptide, I think in terms of representations, it's highly likely to be representation of gender, i.e. men or women. It could potentially be representation of relationships, maybe, um, but I don't know whether that's a bit of a stretch. I, I would hazard a guess it would be gender, but please don't quote me on that. I'm going to go through all the things I think you should know about representation for Riptide in this video, and hopefully uh, they will be easy to understand. In the video Riptide, we see several different women and men, and it's important to be able to understand how those different genders have been represented. Women in the video tend to be shown in quite an objectified and victimised manner. So if we start by having a look at some of the shots, we see several shots of women being victimised in some way. Uh, there is a shot of a woman tied to a tree, being dragged under a bed, tortured in what looks like maybe some kind of dentist's chair, um, and either, even a woman covered in bruises as though she's been assaulted whilst singing. There's lots of images of women who've been victimised in some way. The use of high camera angles to make women seem smaller, and and the use of terrified facial expressions and dark lighting create this atmosphere of fear as though women should be scared as well as victimised. Um, and so um, the, the representations of women in those shots are reasonably stereotypical and, and a little old fashioned. Although I think it's worth pointing out that I don't think we're supposed to enjoy these shots of women being victimised. The shots of the woman singing uh, are done in quite long takes, which means that they are left on screen for a reasonable amount of time for us to see her up close, including her bruises and blood running down her face. And those long takes are quite uncomfortable for a viewer to look at, and that can um, hopefully try and create this understanding that whilst women are being victimised, we're not supposed to like it, and we are supposed to question why it's happening and, and what's going on. The shots of the women being tortured and tied to trees and dragged under beds are a lot quicker and faster paced. And I think that's to drum up this feeling of fear and horror. It feels like a horror film. They feel like intertextual references to torture films that you may have seen. Um, and so um, it's perhaps to represent women as being scared um, and to draw our attention to the parallels between this video and perhaps the way women are represented in other products like horror movies. The woman on the tree does manage to untie herself and escape though, so there are representations of women perhaps saving themselves. They're not always the damsel in distress. They're actually acting as their own heroes at some points. Women in the media reasonably typically have been objectified quite a lot and sexualized across a whole range of media products. And actually in this video, we do see shots that seem to objectify and sexualize women on the surface. We see shots that literally objectify women because we don't get to see the rest of their bodies. We only get to see their feet. And that happens in quite a lot of shots. Are these shots there for the enjoyment of the audience? Because actually in a lot of other media products, they're there to engage a male target audience. And I suppose there is some argument that the, the target audience for Vance Joy might have male audiences within it. But actually, many audiences might feel as though the shots are there to, to have a meaning, to connote a message that perhaps we shouldn't be objectifying women in this way. It feels a little bit strange that we see a lot of legs and feet and we don't really get to see the identity of the, the females in question. Um, particularly because we see a shot of somebody presumably standing in some bushes and sort of st staring at or spying on a woman quite voyeuristically from below, um, suggesting he, she doesn't even know he's there. Um, so it, it makes us feel quite uncomfortable when these women are seen as objects. The woman singing at the microphone is represented in a reasonably typical way in terms of beauty and glamour and those expectations of women to look perfect. Her makeup is done, her hair is done, the spotlight is on her. It makes her seem powerful and important, but it also makes her seem quite sexual um, and as though we are there to enjoy the way she looks and as though looks are quite important. 
Throughout the video, we keep cutting back again and again to her singing and her makeup starts to slide down her face. It's clear she's been crying. We get the uh, makeup that uh, makes it look as though she's been attacked in some way, the blood rolling down her face, bruises. And so the mise-en-scene of her makeup and, and costume and facial expression where she looks quite scared, her eyes glance off to the side as though she's watching somebody, um, they are there perhaps to kind of uh, create this kind of quite tense and scary atmosphere underlying those representations of women as though perhaps this woman herself has been assaulted been attacked and to make us feel quite scared for her uh, we're, we're forced to watch her wondering who is off camera who she's looking at and, and why um, she's been assaulted and all these enigma codes of who assaulted her and why and what they're going to do next um, help us to almost feel sympathy in the way that she's been represented her eyes seem to become more and more vacant, which means she doesn't seem to be looking properly at anyone or anything, apart from when she glances off camera, presumably at the person that's been torturing her. Um, she looks, uh, you know, pretty terrified and she starts to deliberately sing the words wrong. So she's singing the wrong lyrics, which is why we get to see the lyrics on the screen at this time. And those uh, things all go to representing her as being um, upset, um, maybe in a, an emotional chaos, um, so, you know, being able to represent her in that way has been done through the lyrics on the screen and, and the makeup and her facial expressions. There are some images of violence as well. So there is um, a hand being stabbed with a knife or a knife trying to stab a hand and a gun being pointed as well. Um, and, you know, violence against women has become quite a big issue within within society and in the media as well. And, and perhaps Vance Joy is trying to make a comment about that. But perhaps these images of violence accompanied by the images of women in quite a sexualized or objectified fashion, they might actually be like creating the very messages he's trying to avoid perhaps his purpose or perhaps his aim was to try and create a message that gave an educational perspective about the objectification of women but actually the objectified and sexualized images along with the images of violence might actually have had the opposite effect and uh, audiences might actually have been engaged and entertained by these images and it might have had the impact of trivializing violence against women for example the representations of women, therefore, in the video are quite complex. We see representations of women seeming quite powerful and important, standing up on balconies, wearing, you know, potentially what looks like quite um, wealthy clothing. We see women potentially being actresses on beaches and objectified, victimised, violence. Um, so I suppose the, the representations are quite diverse in terms of the female gender. Um, perhaps this, that's because this is a modern product. Um, and perhaps it's the style of the music video. It's kind of put together in this kind of montage type fashion. Some people call this intellectual montage. It seems like the images are kind of put together at random, but that hopefully, I suppose the idea is that the audience tries to interpret those images themselves. Um, so I suppose maybe you could say that the video invites audiences to interpret the representations themselves rather than trying to put across a specific message. Bell Hooks thinks that feminism is all about the struggle to end oppression and end the patriarchy um you know is this video a social comment on that is this video making a comment about how we should end this struggle and how you know patriarchal domination is a real thing or is this video just reinforcing patriarchal views of women um it's there's no answer there's no right or wrong to this and i suppose the idea is that the audience could have interpreted this video any way they wanted um but it just means that the representations are not entirely clear look at the men in the video the men are also represented in a in quite a diverse way as well um, we see men quite a lot as voyeurs um, people perhaps who are watching women in some way spying on them so we see men on the beach looking through cameras we presume that there is a man under uh, the tree looking up at the woman spying on her although that is the audience's assumption so there are shots of men in reasonably powerful positions, uh, whether that's as camera operators or directors or, or you know, whatever else that might be. Um, and, uh, you know, perhaps that is reflective of, you know, typical patriarchal views of men within society. 
perhaps one of the reasons or explanations as to the quite diverse representations within this video is the, the genre of the music and the band. Um, so, you know, this song kind of falls under the indie or alternative genre. And as such, they are more likely um, to have slightly more diverse representations or alternative representations to perhaps more mainstream music. You might also want to know that this was uh, the first single that Vance Joy was trying to get um, released in America. They were trying to break the American market. And because of that, perhaps that, you know, that's an explanation maybe as to why the video has these kind of quite shocking, controversial images of women in particular being victimised. Um, you know, perhaps the more shocking or controversial imagery is, um, you know, perhaps the more viral or publicity it will get. So that could explain some of the representations within the video, the fact that they were trying to gain publicity as a reasonably new band at the time.